I can have a load duration. I can have a load duration curve also. So what is the load duration curve now? Since we have seen the load curve, so it is also the same curve, load curve, but it is giving everything from maximum to minimum demands. Suppose here the maximum demand, I can have the same load duration curve of the system such that the I can have three points right now. This is the maximum demand. Suppose here it is 60, here it is 50, here it is 40. So I can have a uh, 100 megawatt, then 60, then 50, then 40, then 30. I will be having a curve, the same curve. This will be the load curve. This is the load here, and this is the time again. In such that the maximum demand is on the top, then the preceding demand, then the preceding demand and the last would be the minimum demand present on the system. So that it will be a curve of the demand from highest to the lowest units in without seeking the time. It is also for the 24 hours, this time is 24 hours and this would be also the 24 hours. But only difference would be that this would be 100 as seen we can see this would be 60 almost this is 50 this is 40 again this is 30 which is always present so i can have the same curve from decreasing order of my priorities of load so i have the maximum demand at this time 100 so i have kept it first then my uh, less demand then my maximum and then 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 less 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 and the minimum demand. So the load duration curve and load curve are one and the same thing. Only difference is the this is in the chronological order so that whatever is actually happening in the system it's shown by my load curve and this load duration curve actually gives me the the way my load is maximum to minimum is. So what is the uh, uh, and, uh, difference between the load duration curve and the load curve. The similarity between the load duration curve and the load curve is the area under the load duration curve and the load curve is always same. As we can see this thing and this is very important regarding objective type question that the area under the load duration curve and the load curve is same. So I can have the maximum demand here from the load duration curve and I can have the minimum demand which is always present in the system. This is the minimum demand which is always present in the system. I can have this demand system, this place which is the minimum demand which is always present in the system. So this is very much important in collecting the base load plant and the peak load plant. So the, which are the points which are very much important regarding the load duration curve and the load curve is the, that the load duration curve area are same. Second thing that it, uh, uh, it always gives the minimum demand which is always present in the system. Third thing which is very much important that the selection of the base load plant and the peak load plant are uh, very much easy by looking at the load duration curve. So I can, I can write them down. Then the, First thing is the minimum load, whatever minimum load is present is always there. Second thing is the selection of base load and peak load plants. The selection of the base load and peak load plants are given by my load duration curve. So we can have a small example of this load curve and load duration curve so that one can understand this load curve and load duration curve much easier way. <coughs> so example of this is so that I have a load curve so that this is my load in megawatts 
and this is the time in 24 hours. So this is the load curve for 24 hours. So this is 24 hour load curve. I can have the, uh, yeah, the monthly load curve also, yearly load curve also, for decade load curve also. So the, it will be giving the time. The load is in mega what so the question is like a 10 megawatt load is from 0 to 0, 0, 0 to 6 hours in the morning or i can say that this is for 6 am means 0, 0, 0, 0 hours, hours to 06 double zero hours and from that at 6 o'clock in the morning to the 12 o'clock in the afternoon the load has increased to 20 megawatts <clears throat> this is 20 megawatts and this is this is 1200 hours which is the afternoon time right now and after that from 1200 hours to 1800 hours the uh, load has increased to 40 megawatt this is my 40 megawatt up to 1800 hours And from 1800 hours to rest is the again the minimum load which is called as the suppose the this is 30 megawatts. This is up to again. 0, 0 HRs. So I have to make a load duration curve of this. So this is exactly 30. This is exactly the 30. So the question says that the from 0 to 6 hours the load is 10 megawatts. Then from morning 6 hours to 1200 hours in the afternoon, the load is 20 megawatt, and from uh, afternoon 12 o'clock to Evening 6 o'clock, the load is 40 megawatt, and from 1800 hours in the evening to till night, midnight, the uh, load is 30 megawatt. So, we have to draw the load duration curve of the same, and we have to find what is the maximum load, what is the minimum load, and what is the minimum load always present in the system. <coughs> so, what to do here? It's a very easy thing. Same we have to draw load in megawatts to time. So rather than in a chronological order, we can have the maximum demand cost right now. The maximum demand by looking at this is the 40 megawatt, it is for 6 hours. So I can have a graph. Remove this by I will draw this by Google only so that one may not get confused. So, I can have the same thing, uh, 40 megawatt is coming at the first time, so the 40 megawatt load, this is the 40 megawatt, this is for 6 hours, I will have for 6 hours, this is for 6 hours, 0 to 6, 40 megawatt. And after that, from 1800 to 00, zero hours, I have a uh, Uh, suppose this is not 30, this is 15 I say, this is between 10 and 10. So, in, the, in this, the second thing which will be coming is the 20 megawatt power which is in the second part which is for, again for 6 hours. So, I will be coming up to suppose this is 40, so this will be almost 20, this will be almost 10. This will be 30. So I will be having here up to here, 
for 20 megawatts for 20 period of again for 6 hours. So I can have this two, for 12 hours period I have drawn. Now again the third thing which is 15 uh, megawatt power is consumed here. 15 megawatt power is consumed for again for 6 hours suppose. So I can have 15 over here and I can come to this point and for again for 6 hours. This is for 18 hours I have completed the load duration curve and rest which is 6 hours is the 10 megawatt power. So again 10 megawatt power will be coming here or again for 6 hours. So I have made this is for again 24 hours. So this 24 hours I have made in the load duration curve this is for the load curve. So this is called the load duration curve. So I made both the things load curve and the load duration curve and by looking at the load curve I made the load duration curve. I can make load curve, I can make load duration curve by looking at the load curve but I cannot make load duration curve, uh, uh, load curve from the load duration curve. It is not vice versa because the load duration curve doesn't give the actual chronological order of the system. It gives the maximum demand first then, then, uh, then the decreasing order of the maximum demand. So I made my load duration curve such that the, both the things are having the equal area. We can directly see this thing, this is here. So, the area of this curve is equal to the area of this curve. We can see that. Another thing which we can see is the this is the minimum load which is always present into the system. This is the minimum load which is always present into the system. And apart from that, I can have a look at this and I can tell the weather uh, the and the uh, which is the minimum load which is always present that is the 10 megawatt minimum load is always present that is for sure and the thing which we can decide this thing that it can be a if I want decide that whether this can be a you know, for my base load plant the base load plant of if of this curve will be the 10 megawatt this is the all time load which is present in the system so 10 megawatt will be the base load and 40 megawatt is the peak load. So I can have you know, design of the system such that my load duration curve and load curve are the same and, and the uh, uh, utility of the load curve and application of the load curve which we have discussed in the, this example also. 